all right so so far we have been all we have been doing is single level approval right we have been using a particular username to send uh, an assignment for approval or we have been using a particular users manager right this is typically what we have been doing that so now we are going to basically talk about multi level or multi layer approval okay so you might have often uh, you will often find a situation where more than one person has to approve and often this is going to be dynamic so a typical situation is just like your leave right your leave usually goes to um, your manager and that's just a single level approval but if you go for a reimbursement usually depending upon the amount more than one people approve <clears throat> now you can configure that in a single level as well you just need to have more than one um, step right and uh, more than one shape or step for the approval and assign them to individual users you can still manage them dynamically but that's not the better way ideally we should have just one approval shape only one approval shape and uh, we have another type of approval that is that we call um, cascading approval that's where we configure multi level approval or multi layer approval so so this approval is called cascading and it has two types one is called reporting reporting structure okay so let's first talk about the reporting structure so here essentially it is it is kind of almost important that a mandatory that the person who is going to create the case whoever is going to create the case that person has proper reporting structure set up okay and not just that person even the person who is actually the manager of that person must also I mean every operator needs to have a reports to set up on their profile properly if we want to implement the reporting structure and that is going to be the prerequisite for such implementation whenever you are going to implement reporting structure cascading approval this has to be in the business practice this has to be uh, there has to be a technical solution around it to make sure that every operator has a reporting reporting operator right or reports to so here in the reporting structure we actually kind of go by the reporting structure of the individual who is going to submit the particular case who is going to create the particular case so for example if person a is creating the case then we need to know is manager and let's say that that person is b and we need to know b's manager as well if we have that kind of requirement where we will need multiple layer level of approval so let's say b's manager is c right and so so forth so on so in the reporting structure we define till what level we want to seek the approval this can be conditional this can be plain Let's talk about the plane. This we are simply going to ask for one, two level or three level of approval, okay? Um, into a particular case that we are going to just have a look at. So before we configure this, the essentials are, or basically the prerequisite is that you need to have a reporting structure set up on your operators. All right. So let's just check that first. So this is my operator. Mahesh at the rate sl.com right and my operator does have uh, a reports to right so this is this reports to is going to be level one okay now this reports to this doesn't have an operator so let me just save as this operator as manager one create an open right and i'm going to assign this operator manager one as a man reports to operator for manager so this is manager one okay so this is now i have two level set up already for these two operators 
now let me save as this one as a manager 2 and I'll set this one as reporting manager for manager 1 Save. this is going to be manager 2 I mean operator ID is all okay we need to update the name as well so that we can differentiate that on the screen so this is 2 this is one yeah this is manager so this user has multi layer of reporting structure right now so this is our standard case right uh, someone is basically going to adjust the leaves of the employee this is a leave management kind of system where uh, there will be some admin or some person from a hr team who can credit additional or deduct additional uh, deduct leaves from an employee's leave type i mean employee's leave based on the leave type right so let's configure a cascading approval with the reporting structure and of course if you say that okay um this is going to be reporting structure based on reporting structure then it will ask you two more question okay i mean it will ask you one more question where you need to select which type of reporting uh, which type of manager is it going to be the operators reporting manager or the team operator belongs to the manager of that team okay so every individual belongs to a team as well right so for example if you look at this so i belong to this team default SL. this is called work group right see this is work group team so we set up team as well but at the moment we will not be going for the uh, basically work group manager type of reporting structure but we will be focusing on the just the reporting manager okay and then we say approval label right so an employee see you are the you must be an employee right of an organization if you look at your organization structure you are reporting to your manager your manager is reporting to his manager or her manager and, and up to the chairman or, or the ceo or someone right so if you just say all that means it will go i mean it will traverse from you through uh, through the entire management cycle up to the top we of we don't really do that. that 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 is not necessarily needed in most of the situation okay so either we go for one level in one level we will just check for who is the reporting manager and we will assign that the task to them right so let me test that one so i have just set to approval level one right approval level one means if i'm going to submit it is going to seek the approval from a manager let me say So see, this has been assigned to manager, my manager, Mahesh MGR. You see that, right? So if I go there and approve, I mean, I am admin, so I can approve on the behalf of manager. So this is done. The approval is done, right? There is no further approval required. Now if I go back here and change that to custom level. So update custom level. And I can set level of approval 2 or 3, let's say 2. And like I mentioned, we can conditionally set level of approval. Okay. So here I can say that if the adjustment, the adjustment that we're doing on the form, if that adjustment value is less than 3, okay, if that is less than 3, then we will have 2 level, otherwise, we will have 4 level. So when adjustment less than three okay let me create and open this one rule so this is going to be in the same work class Uh, let me just go to the advanced flow. 
is when rule so here we have leave adjustment if it is less than or equal to 3 okay then this when rule be written true so let me go back to this now update so this is now created okay so we will take two level of approval all right otherwise so we have um, basically we can have another condition where we can say greater than so let me just save as this one as a greater than if it is greater than or equal to 4 or greater than 3 that's gt3 and this time i would say if it is greater than 3 right then 3 approval level Two and three. Okay, good. Save it. So I'm going to create one case where I'm going to ask for adjustment. Um, adjustment for two leaves only. Okay. So that will fall in the first category, right? So we should ideally get two level of approval request. Casual is quite a lot, so two or three both will basically fall in the same category, right? So, this is assigned to my manager at the moment that is level one approve. See, it did not go right. We have configured just one save. Right, this is this will keep repeating until we have fulfilled those conditions. So it did not uh, basically move forward and it's waiting for approval by manager one, who is the manager of manager, right? And that's it. We got two level of approval, right? Now let me create one more case. Where I'm going to take the leave adjustment value to five or six, I mean greater than three, anything greater than three. So this time this is manager level one. I mean this is level one. Then this is level two up to level three right so see you have one single configuration you have provided uh, you have put in your logic okay you have put in your logic it's dynamically the pega is dynamically determining how many approval to be sought based on the configuration that you have done and with whom based on the operator who is creating the case okay if i log in through the mgr1 then it will start from the manager of mgr1 okay whoever creates that case okay so when when i provided two basically in the label so this is label okay and this when condition is evaluating if it is less than or equal to three so if you provide uh, basically the adjustment value which is either three or less it's gonna ask for two level of approval my, that will be my manager and my manager's manager that will be level two my manager's approval is level one or the person who is submitting the case the that is level one the manager of that person is level one and then level two means the manager's manager. No, there will be two. So let me show you. Right. So that is the condition, right? So you will have to manage your condition mutually exclusive, right? Here I have less than three. Less than, sorry, greater than three. It is. It is greater than three. 
एंड द अदर कंडीशन इज टॉकिंग अबाउट लेस देन और इक्वल टू सो अप टू थ्री इज दिस वन एंड ग्रेटर देन थ्री मीन्स फोर ओन वर्ड राइट सो इज दिस इज म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव देर इज नो ओवर लैपिंग राइट सो यू गॉट टू मेंटेन दैट सो दिस इज बेसिकली योर रिपोर्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर ओके Alright, so uh, we will cover the cascading after you have completed the reporting step. Okay. So yeah, it is cascading one reporting structure. The authority matrix we will cover after you guys have completed this.